Welcome back. You're listening to The Drive Home with Matt and Taylor. I'm your host, Matt Burden, and Miss Taylor Cook. Hello, everybody. So, Taylor. <laughs> yeah. I've been thinking. Oh, God. That's a scary thing. <laughs> am I a man? No. I mean, I mean, uh, all right, let me correct. I am not jumping ship. <laughs> I'm not becoming <laughs> Caitlin's sister. You're not going to be Caitlin. I- I'm just saying, am I a real man? I don't know. Are you? Is your boyfriend a real man? Yeah, sometimes it can be a little boyish, but... Well, here's a few lessons from the love doctors right here at the drive home. Great. Dr. Matt here. Oh, God. (laughs) So, it takes some lessons to be a real man. And this is not from me. This is from a study from Mm askmen.com. Insecurity and competitiveness. Every woman has been in the relationship with a boy with a fragile ego who needs constant reassurance. Now, walking on eggshells will not lead to a serious relationship. Wouldn't you agree there? That's true. Yeah. It it won't at all. So, folks, get over your insecurity and stop constantly one-upping your partner and putting her down and make yourself feel better. Girls do that, too. They do. They do. They do. They do that. I've, I mean, usually girls are like, oh my god, the guys, blah, 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 but girls can put people down too. Trifling. They're actually really mean. Trifle. Yep. So when your girlfriend succeeds, it should not make you proud nor threatened. A man who is supportive and generous and confident in his own abilities, he can take criticism and provide support when she needs it. <laughs> so men, stand up. Right. <laughs> and be secure. <laughs> and be competitive. Yep. The, the inability to communicate doesn't make you a real man. Obviously, I'm a broadcast journalist. Yeah. I have no problem. But guys do have a hard time communicating their feelings. I have been accused of expressing my feelings a little too much. Well, you're like more emotional than anything. Though. Me? Yeah, you're I'm you're a more emotional guy than most guys I that I know. Not. Yes, you are, Matt. Really? Yes, you do. Like how? Like you, you put your heart and soul into everything you do. I do. Yeah, and especially That's why I'm a real man. Oh my god, especially like relationships and like your friendships. So whenever like stuff gets hurt, like whenever like you get hurt, like something goes on, like you take that to heart. And a lot of other guys, they're just like whatever, I don't care. Yeah. So you're way like, way more emotional than other guys that I know. I do because I have a close niche. I don't let people in. Mhm. And sometimes that can be a good thing, but sometimes and, that can be a bad thing. And so when I do let someone in, I mean, I'm like an onion. Okay, Shrek. <laughs> uh, Shrek. Don't care. But, you know, I mean, I'm like, like or, or, or what's her name? Leanne Tui. I'm like an onion. Leanne Tui. Oh, my God. Peel me her. back, uh, you know, blindside. Yeah. <laughs> but the basis of any serious relationship is communication. Mm-hmm. But it can go a long way on a first date, too. Mm-hmm. You know, tell a girl what you think. Tell her she's beautiful, you love her, whatever. Don't wait for her to see it. Say it. True. Because a lot of things, well, why don't you well, ever tell me? I mean, mm. I mean, I mean, maybe not the I love you thing on the first, obviously. You yeah, know, no, not at all. But know, like psycho. showing somebody that's like very interested in stuff like that, that's like a lot. You should say, hey, you know, claim your property. Mm hmm. Well, don't not, be afraid to like not property. You know what I mean? No, but like, don't be afraid to like show off what's yours. Hike your leg and pee on it. I wouldn't take it that far. <laughs> So, you know, uh, think about what you want to talk about with her. Listen to what she wants. Obviously, it's two-way street. You got to listen to her. And be open and honest. You know, don't hide your emotions. You know? Yeah, a lot of guys do that, too. Yeah. Now, this one I don't agree on. Agree on. Don't be a know-it-all. I have no experience in being a know-it-all. I don't like people, like, I just don't, like, I've gone on a date before and, like, Me and this guy were in the same field. So we were both in the same broadcasting field. Mm -hmm. And I did not like how he and like his career has set off in it. And of course me, like I'm just like getting my foot through it. And he was basically like telling me like what I should do and what I need to do. And Taylor, I have apologized for that time and time. I don't need you 
to guide yeah. my life. I just met you, bro. You don't need to like. And it was like a blind date. It was one of that, like those Tinder dates. So like, oh, I don't, and by the way, just for a record, this is not Madden Taylor yeah. talking. I was just being a smart aleck. Yeah. Uh huh. So I just, I don't know. It was just, like, don't sit there and try to like give me advice. You're not my teacher. You're not my. He wanted to be. They're not my colleague. Like no, 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 no. And it just really frustrated. He's like, you know, because like I said, like one of my goals would be like maybe to possibly like work at ESPN someday or something. Hmm. He's like, well, it's probably not going to happen. But you have to start somewhere. You need to go to a small market, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you know? well, listen, well, home dog, I, I get what you're saying, but I didn't ask for I didn't ask for your opinion. So I don't really give a sh- Yeah. I don't really care. You don't want? I don't really care. Okay. <laughs> but you know what, though? It, 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 you know, I know you're smart and yes. you know a lot about stuff. I'm important, too. I'm not talking to you. I'm oh. talking about in general. Oh, okay. But, but yes, <laughs> yes, it applies to you, too. Taylor. Thanks. But if I'm dating you. Uh-huh. And I'm interested in you. I'm interested in your opinions. But being a know-it-all isn't sexy. And I have been guilty of this, mm-hmm. especially on certain topics. I think I'm Politics. a self-proclaimed, uh-huh. I'm a self-proclaimed know-it-all. But I'd like to think that on and off. I don't know. I mean, I mean, is that right? Can you switch that on and off? Or is that just is it not sexy? It's not sexy. Really? But but going back to confidence. Confidence is Bala bing bada boom I mean that's fine being confident but don't be arrogant with it And see some people they, they've mistaken that And they're arrogant with it What about this Do you have more respect for a man That says he doesn't know the answer Than If he really doesn't know okay I can't get mad at you mm-hmm. But if you're just saying that because you just want to shut me up That's not okay Okay. What about this and I don't, I, you know, I don't have this problem. Now, I do with my hair because, you know, I have this golden locks here. Yeah. But obsessing over your looks. Mm-hmm. I mean, is that, uh, I mean, is that a turn off? For a guy to obsess about his looks? Yeah. It depends. Like, I like for a guy to, like, dress, like, very nice and, like, take care of, like, what he wears yeah. and stuff like that. And, like, sagging pants. Oh, God, that's disgusting. Pants on I don't the like anything like that. No, not at all. I don't. Like, well, I don't like like the guys when they have to like literally spend more time than me in the bathroom in the mornings. Like that's yeah. just so obnoxious, and you have to get your hair right, or you have to go get your hair cut every day, or go get a shape up all the time. And it's like, bro, calm down. But he's gotta look right. He but he's gotta, gotta look, look right. But the whole dressing thing, I gotta love. Look fly. The whole dressing thing, I love. But if you're just coming in with like baggy shorts and like a yeah. tall tee, nah, bro. By Felicia. No, by Felicia. But, you know, when you're a boy, you think about fantasizing about the models and lingerie catalogs. When you are when you start dating in your 20s, you may still have this one-dimensional idea of female beauty in your head. Mm-hmm. But real men understand that there's a lot of things that make a girl beautiful, not just their bra size. True that. And I'm not talking about, you know, obsessing over their looks. I'm talking about obsessing obsessing over the girl's looks mm-hmm. okay oh that's what you're talking about yeah yeah i don't, I don't know why we went off a tangent yeah i thought you, but, hey, there you i go. thought i thought you point. meant <laughs> i thought you meant obsessing like oh, the guys obsessing yeah. over their looks yeah <laughs> okay well that was my opinion on that but I mean, here's I mean, my I, opinion on this well how about this i'll give you my opinion okay you, you did from a woman yeah i mean i want my woman looking nice uh, all the time, like every single day. No, no. I mean, I, I mean, I don't want to. I mean, if we go out in public, mm-hmm. I, you know, I want you to look your best. Thank goodness we don't date. Not. I mean, I'm not, now. I'm not talking about going to Walmart and wearing classy pearls uh-huh. and stuff like that. But don't go. You know, you you know, present yourself. Mm-hmm. Present yourself. I wear like basketball shorts and like a t-shirt to a lot of places. Mm-hmm. I like wear it to the movies all the time, or like in the winter. Oh my gosh, I live in leggings. I, I'm willing, you know, and a lot of times, like I'm always in my my polos and my, yeah, you know, your khakis, khakis, and, all that and good you stuff. know, looking fly, obsessing <laughs> over my hair, looking you know. fly, looking fly. Oh my god, what about being indecisive? Elaborate. Boys don't know what they want. True that they don't. They don't. They have think careers. they want something, but they don't want it. Exactly. Or they they want. And it women's d- the same way. I mean, they, they are. Say they want it. Or then, or 
they want something but they're not going to work for it mm. like oh i would love to do that then do it work your butt off to try and do it yeah don't say don't just talk it walk it but you know boys don't know what they want they don't have careers they mm-hmm. don't have goals they don't have serious relationships because they can't judge what's important but when it comes to women, they they just usually chasing hot girls, you know, just kind of racking up notches in their belts. Yeah. Sure. I mean, it's like, you know, hey, hey, did you see that new trophy I got there? You know, I mean, that's kind of what it is. But but men, they think, all right, well, this girl right here, she's a keeper. Mm-hmm. Yes, if she has a nice waistline and all this and blah, 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 and all the, you know, all these perks with looks, hey, that's great too. But you know what? She's actually intelligent. And I'm actually called... A saposexual, which is, uh, let me finish. <laughs> uh, you know, a saposexual is attracted to intelligence. That's all it is. I just think it's like an egotistical thing for what? a guy's point of view. Mm. I just that's just what I think. But I mean, I know, obviously, we're not saying all guys are like that. But what about caring too much about your bros than your woman? Obviously, you hold the old bros before hoes, <laughs> sisters before mistress. You know. <laughs> It's just really interesting about that because I love, like my boyfriend loves his friends too. But mm. there's a, you you have to find a balance when you're in a relationship. Yeah, you have to find a balance, and girls especially have a little hard time with that because they love their girls' night and they want to do that. But then their friends get mad if they're hanging out with their boyfriend yep. and all this stuff. So you've got to find a fine balance, and either one should support that. But I don't think it's right for you to choose certain people over one another yeah you get what i'm saying yeah and like relationships it's not easy it's and women work. are like that and women are like that like one of my i love her to death one of our best friends um there's like a group of five of us and she got a boyfriend and we barely see her that much anymore and granted we're happy for her and we're very happy but you gotta find that balance of being with your boyfriend and being with your friends too so the other ones don't get mad and it shouldn't be like that but i mean it is whatever so I guess to wrap this up, I guess it looks like I'm a real man. Yep, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you've been listening to The Drive Home with Matt and Taylor. Stay right here.